here's how to update the firmware on your Canon EOS R. Hello, Sean Kemple here. Recently, Canon released a new firmware for the Canon EOS R and RP cameras. Updating the firmware is basically updating the built-in operating system of the camera. Over the last year, Canon has introduced several big firmware updates that dramatically improve the autofocus of the R and RP. Also shortly after the release of the RP, an update came out that added the 24P video mode to that camera. However, most of the time, these updates are simply just bug fixes. There are two methods to update the firmware. You can either do it with uh, an SD card by copying the file to there, or you can do it directly with a USB cable. We're going to go through the SD card method. The first step you want to do is turn on the camera and format your memory card. I have this on the My Menu tab as shown. Now you can turn off the camera and remove the memory card and then insert it into your computer. And you can either do that with an external card reader or uh, if your computer has one, use the built-in reader. Now you want to download the firmware, which is easily found with a Google search uh, with just typing in EOS R firmware, and it should be the top link that takes you to Canon's website. Now under drivers and downloads, change it to the firmware option, and you'll see the list of the firmwares. Uh, you'll also have the option for Mac or Windows. The Windows version is a zip file, and the Mac version is a DMG. Really both will work on a Mac, but we'll go ahead and do the Mac uh, DMG file since I'm doing this on a Mac. Uh, once the DMG file is downloaded, uh, I'll go ahead and copy it to my desktop and then double click on it and the disk image will mount to the desktop. Now inside that disk image you have the .fir firmware file and then along with a uh, guide with how to update the camera. Uh, so what you want to do is take that fir file and drag it on top of your SD card and now that'll copy that into the root folder structure. Uh, now if you bring up the SD card you should just see like the DCIM folder, the firmware file, and then a miscellaneous folder. Uh, you can now eject the SD card and then also eject the uh, firmware download and move it to the trash. Now take the card out of the computer and put it in your camera and turn back on the camera. Make sure your camera is in one of the modes that are not full automatic. I usually have mine in manual mode. Then navigate to the gear icon and the sixth tab and there it will show you your installed firmware. Select the firmware down at the bottom and press OK, and you'll now see your camera firmware and lens firmware. Choose the camera firmware again, and you'll be asked if you want to update the firmware. Choose OK, and the firmware update program loads, which can take a minute or two. You'll then be asked to select a new firmware, and you should see the file that you copied to the SD card. Press OK again, and then it'll show the current version with an arrow pointing to show the new version that will be updated. Choose OK to continue and now the update process will begin. Leave the camera on during this whole process and it will take roughly five to ten minutes. I've sped it up here in this video just for time reasons. And then when it is finished you'll get an update that the, the uh, with a message saying that the firmware is complete. That's it and now you have the latest features and fixes from Canon for your camera. I usually, right after, will also format my card just for cleanup reasons. Now you can power it off and then back on again and go right back to shooting. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please subscribe and I will have new content available shortly. Talk to you later.